After a flawless rendition of the national anthem on Inauguration Day, all eyes are on Beyonce to declare if it was live or not. I'm Hyla for The Daily Buzz on CelebBuzz.com and Vice Chairman of Reputation.com. Howard Bragman joins me right now to break this all down. Uh, Howard, I feel like there are so many conspiracy theories. There are so many theories as to what might have happened. I mean, at the end of the day, does it matter if she's saying live or not? You know, in, in my business, one of the best skills you need to have is to really be able to tell the difference between a crisis and a controversy. This is a controversy in my mind, Hyla. It doesn't affect anything. Had you gone to a Beyonce concert and she was lip syncing, you'd have every right to be upset and say, that's not what I paid for. This was a historical moment that she wanted to be her best. It was an amazing performance. And by the way, though, whether she lip sank or did it live, that was her voice, her rendition, and it was beautiful. And I want to remind everybody, four years ago, Aretha Franklin sang, and her voice cracked, and she took grief for it. So the point is, you can't win. You're going to, you know, there's going to be people who like it. There's going to be people who don't. And let's just enjoy the moment. But here's the thing. As my friend Lily told me last night at dinner, just be honest. She just needs to come out and say one way or the other. Don't keep us speculating. A lot of celebrities are weighing in as well. Anderson Cooper wrote, who cares if Beyonce sang live or not? She looked and sounded great. Piers Morgan, he also chimed in on this saying, I still don't care if Beyonce lip synced or not. She's a brilliant singer and a lovely woman. Half the world's starving folks get over it. Um, Kelly Clarkson. Exactly. And... And by the way, what do you mean she owes us an answer? This is not the court of law. She's not being sued. And if she did indeed lip sync, nobody knew it till it was published. So it was an exceptional lip syncing performance. It wasn't one of those performances we've all seen where the, the lips are going one way and the words are going another. He, she was smart, smart enough to use that big mic ball, sort of cover <laughs> her mouth. And the crowd was moved. I talked to people who were there. But here, Howard, a- here's here's the only issue I have with this, is that just within 30 seconds of her performance, Kelly Clarkson also performed, and she performed live. So what does that say about Beyonce, that she can't do it live, but Kelly Clarkson can? Kelly had an easy song. The national anthem's a tough song, okay? I, I'd hate to sing the national anthem live on tape any other way. Every performer has to make their own choice and do what's right for them. And this doesn't give me any less respect for Beyonce. I think the question is, what's going to happen at the Super Bowl? And I, I, I can assure you she'll actually be singing there. But what you have to understand is that's a musical performance. She wasn't hired at the Super Bowl to do the national anthem. She's hired to do a great halftime show, which is indeed a performance. This was historical spectacle, and let's separate the two, okay? Okay, let, last question for you, because I got to go, but should she say something, either yes or no, confirming or denying the fact that she sang live? Oh, I think the woman deserves a little mystery. I think it's kind of fun to have this non-controversial controversy, and she's been involved with enough controversy in her life. She has a thick skin. She'll get beyond this. It's none of our business. It was a great, stirring performance. Howard Bragman, always a pleasure. For more on Beyonce and the biggest stories breaking right now, stay clicked on CelebBuzz.com.